It's true. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit! You ran into the ref! That was awesome. This game's good. Oh, man, just the fact that that can happen is awesome. <laughs> Look, he's knocked the fuck out. All right, so we've gone through half of the PC Engine arcade card lineup. Now we come to the back half. Next up, it was released one week after the Shin Nihon Pro Wrestling game in December of 94. This is the last 1994 release for the arcade card. This is Fatal Fury Special. Oh, I didn't say that right. Fatal Fury Special. That's, that's how the announcer says it Got in the it. US version. <laughs> Not here, though. Oh, he said it all cool. He's not supposed to say it like that. Supposed to say it like... Supposed to say it like a dumb nerd. Ah. So this looks familiar, doesn't it? Sure uh, does. Yeah, it turns out Fatal Fury Special is to Fatal Fury 2 as Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition was to Street Fighter 2. This adds four additional characters, mm -hmm. some new backgrounds, uh, it adds a hidden guy that you can fight at the end. It's Ryo from Art of Fighting. Oh shit! And other than that, it's very much still Fatal Fury 2. So let's see how this stacks up to the uh, the original game. Come on, baby. <laughs> wow! Duck is good. Duck is rude. So this is weird, right? The fact that a fighting game and its slightly upgraded expansion, those count as two games for the arcade card. Of the 12 games, two of them are the same game. Bear versus duck. I'm not too familiar with the differences between two and special, but is there any reason why you'd prefer to play two instead of special? Like, has this game just completely outdated the original game? The stage is a little flashy, sorry about that. That's alright, I'll just take a look at chat. I do like Big Bear, I do like the Duck King, although the Duck King's kinda, kinda rowdy. Oh, he's rowdy, alright. He's real rowdy. I think he has an actual duck in his clothes that comes out when he, uh, he wins the match. That's, that's good, actually. So this one was developed by Mutek, which is not SNK, but it still plays pretty, pretty similarly to Fatal Fury 2. I think they just used that game's code base and then added some extra characters on it. From what I can tell, this plays just as well. Uh, it still has some of the problems that the original port had. If you look carefully, you can still see it has the, uh, the black backgrounds behind the live bars. Mm -hmm. It's a little less pronounced this time, though. But yeah, in terms of console games, you can think of this as the difference between Street Fighter 2 on Super Nintendo and Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Maybe there's some people out there who are just Fatal Fury 2 diehards and they hated the special version, but... The duck fell out. Yeah, his duck fell out. How dare you, Vader! <laughs> yeah, Broken Scholar says the slowdown for me is nearly game-breaking. It does look pretty... Hmm. I know Special added, like, a rudimentary combo system that wasn't there in Fatal Fury 2. And I believe that Special is kind of the definitive version among uh, Neo Geo diehards. Bear. Yes, I'm with PC98 Jr. SNK heroine's Duck Queen. Ooh, yeah. Maybe, I want to draw this. Now. Maybe that's the new character they're going to announce. I like announce. this idea. They already announced uh, Titty Bogard as the fans call her. A kind of unfortunate name, but still very excited to have uh, Booby Terry. I didn't think we were going to get away from discussing anime titty tonight, but you know... You you made an intermission full of it! I didn't... Okay, it was more cat-ass than titty, but still. <laughs> if anything, this version plays a little bit better, I guess. It seems to be a slightly faster game. Ah, okay, never mind. They were referring to Metal Slug, not Fatal Fury. I'm oh, sorry. oh man, Metal Slug 2, that slowdown. Yeah. That is pretty severe. Yeah, it's a shame they didn't bring Metal Slug to this thing, right? That could have been cool. God, that would have been cool. Instead, it's just the same fighting game twice. No, this one's been specialed up a bit. Plus that. The thing is, though, when Fatal Fury 2 came out, uh, Neo Geo Special, that was already out for a few months. 
Uh, surely they knew that they were going to make it when they were going to release Fatal Fury 2. You would think, why bother with 2? Why there. not just skip directly to special? Bear. <laughs> Bear. Versus. Bear. Round one. Fight. Look at this background. I like the bear pride flag. <laughs> it's a bear pride flag. It is. I support it. Bear is valid. It, bear is so valid. Hey, hang the C2. God, I will. Also, Why are fight, there sheep? play. There are sheep back there, aren't Why there? Why are there sheep by, like, these muscle boys? Hey, bear's into a lot of stuff you don't want to know about. No, 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 no. We're not going that way. No, we ain't. I just... I just that one, I just that one sheep's rocking out were. though. You see him? He's head banging. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's another one that's asleep. Yeah, good point, Botman. The load times are faster in this one. They are. Yeah, the first game I was staring at that map for a good long time before we got to a match. So there are improvements. It's just I don't know. Such a small library, I really can't justify there being two of the same game among the, the dozen at least. Maybe Neo Geo fans disagree. Maybe they think that you needed both versions of Fatal Fury 2. In which case, sure. I'll defer to you if that's what you say. But for me, I only need one of Fatal Fury 2 or Fatal Fury Special. I'll stick with Special. Thank you. Alright, next up. December 2nd, 1994 is when this game was released. The next game came out February 3rd, 95, so another couple month wait. But it was worth it, because the next game is Fire Pro Joshi. So Joshi, if you're unfamiliar, is Japanese women's wrestling. Yeah. And there were several, several Joshi games available for Super Famicom back then. It was huge. It was almost as big as, like, the, uh, the, the uh, Japan Pro Wrestling games back then. Like, the, not only were there a ton of Fire Pro games, there were a ton of exclusively Joshi spinoffs. Yeah, it's loading the whole game into RAM. That's cool. You want to play this one? Yes. 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 You'll, you'll have to tell me about the wrestlers in this one. I know this has uh, Aja Kong. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know who else, though. Me either. Now, far as I know, there is a Fire Pro Joshi game on Super Famicom, but I think those two games are, are unrelated. It's just a different one. This music. This is cool. Pure heart, pure wrestling. I... This intro kicks ass! Yeah. Yes, okay. Good. いいか。女子プロレスってのはな。ミハのやつに理解できるようなもんじゃねえんだぞ。そこのところは分かってねえやつらは。この a lot of wrestlers. Yeah! <laughs> 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 yes, yeah, Chad's mentioned uh, some of the best wrestling in the world in the 90s, early 90s in particular, was happening in Joshi Wrestling. Like, the stuff happening in Japanese women's wrestling in the 90s really good. I see some names I recognize. There was Kitty Suzuki in there. Oh, she wow. got a Mega Drive game. Yeah, I thought, okay, so that was Bull. I thought I saw Bull Nakano there. Pretty much all the big names I saw there. Yeah. Like, these the ones I recognize. Start her up. Alright, this game has to be better than the other wrestling game, right? It's human, first of all. The Fire Pro people, as they're known. I can't imagine it being... Okay, oh, I already love it. So we've got, uh... That's a cool-ass menu. Look at this menu, everybody! <laughs> this is so good, but we're gonna go with the first one, since we don't got too much time here. 
Well, I don't know what these are. Oh, it's like a memorial match or ooh, winning road, whatever the hell that is. I'll do this. Okay, one player versus two players. You can have a robot tag team. That rules. Okay, I have to do. Yeah, there you go. Um, uh, just do that one. Oh my oh, god. Oh, look at that lineup. That looks at least as big, if not bigger, than <gasps> the last games. Oh yeah, you can make your own edit wrestlers. That rules! That's even better. I... I'm gonna play this bowl. Yeah. CPU's gonna be, uh, that clown. <laughs> this is great. I have... Kick some ass, Alex. I have no no complaints. Oh no, this is a fire pro game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do it to him. Get the wrestle. All right, Ow. it's got those fire pro mechanics, which I, I think are more timing based than mash based. They are. Can you tell. So I may be wrong, but I think Fire Pro actually started on PC Engine. I think the first Fire Pro game was on here, before it later moved to Super Famicom, and then basically every other system for a time. Okay, leave me alone. It was huge on PS1 and Saturn. Bye. Oh. Wow! F fucking... <laughs> the murder clown here! Murder clown. Murder Clowns are real. They're, they're, that's the name of an actual wrestler. Oh, yeah. There's Murder Clown, uh, Monster Clown. This looks pretty good. Oh, I forget all the name of the, clown, of the Psycho Circus Clowns. Even in terms of visuals, I think this is slightly more detailed than the other game. And it's got the gameplay, too. No Scott Steiner, unfortunately. They should have just made an exception and had him as the one male wrestler in this game. That's fair. I don't know if he'd be down. Oh, probably not. Like, oh, I don't want to beat up my freaks or whatever. <laughs> These are my people, man. Well, he did have an extensive career in Japan. That's true. <laughs> oh, sh <laughs> he ran into the ref. That was awesome. This game's good. Oh, man, just the fact that that can happen is awesome. <laughs> Look, he's knocked the fuck out. All right. Apparently, the, the the clown is named Command Boyshoy. I can't. I I believe you. Uzi said it. Um. Yes, yeah, Scott Steiner in a Sukabon outfit. That's all I'm gonna think about for the rest of my life now. Thank <laughs> yes. you. Command Boyshoy. Hmm. Oh, not you out of the oh, There's no way I'm gonna win this. I'm out. Bye. No! Stop that! Bull is a coward! He's going to leave the <laughs> ring. Oh, hey, I did a move. Like, there's there's no way I'm going to win. I am, I'm really bad at Fire Pro. Oh, I've, yeah. I've never really learned how it works, either. I need to learn it. I do. It'd be good to learn it, because it applies to so many games, for one thing. If you know how to play one Fire Pro, you'll know how to play them all. Suka Von Steiner. That is a thought and a half. <laughs> Someone's got to draw that. Please. And then we'll make a custom character for this game. Yes. Oh, he almost hit the ref again. Just call Mercy, man. <laughs> oh, Loveless says Fire Pro World doesn't even have ref bumps, so this game has something over the newest ones. Just dancing on you. She's kicking my ass. <laughs> Do I? She got too tired from kicking my ass. And the winner is Clown Kid. Kid Clown. Kid Clown in Nightmare World. All right, that was pretty good. Yeah, that's better than the other wrestling game. Uh, to be real, I didn't see anything there that really demanded the use of the arcade card. It just looked like a regular ass Fire Pro game to me. But at least it looks good, plays good, and is an exclusive for this thing. And you can make your own wrestler, which. I yeah. think kicks ass. That is great. Ah, uh, yeah, Lady Doink. You're right. <laughs> All right, so 
A few weeks after this, February 24th, came Quest of Jong Master. This is the fourth and final Neo Geo port, and as I said before, it's not what you may have wanted. Are you sure? Well, we'll see. I mean, I hear Jong Master, and I'm like, yes, I love mastering Jong. Check your hands all around that Jong, man. What do you think Jong is? I think Alex... I think Jong? <laughs> Why did you put me on the spot like this? I, I don't know. I think Jong is a kind of superfood. Uh-huh. And you gotta find it so you can be the best cook in the world. Got it. The quest of the Jong Master. Aw. What's it saying? <laughs> She's crying! What the fuck did you do, Danny? Uh, everyone's mad at me because I made a little girl cry because I don't have enough backup memory to save my game. <laughs> well... That's, that's a new one. I've never seen that before in a game. <laughs> that was pretty good. Who are all those men? <laughs> They're gonna kick my ass. Well, uh, I'll lock the door tonight, honey. Okay. Don't fuck with the Jong Master. Ah, Quest of Jong Master. Janshin Densetsu. Alright, chat's already guessed that this is Mahjong. That's kind of my guess now as well. That's a pretty good guess. I was hoping it would be about super fruits and super foods that boost your immune system. Well, you're gonna have to make your own arcade card game. Uh -huh. Some quality babes here. Yeah, okay, it's a Mahjong game. But it's the most serious, badass Mahjong game you've ever seen in your life. Yeah, what the hell is this? <laughs> Look at this. You ever seen a Mahjong game with an intro like this? Video Game King calls this Mahjong of Escaflown. <laughs> Hell, this could have been an OVA too, as far as I know. I didn't find this as an anime, but... Let's start the game. Yeah, Neo Geo unfortunately had a few Mahjong games, as well as quiz games of all things. Uh, those games, of course, didn't get a stateside release. Mm. And a lot of them didn't even get a home cartridge release. They were exclusively in arcades. This is one of the few that got a home release, uh, first for the Neo Geo CD, and then for the PC Engine arcade card. Is this a Mahjong RPG? It is a Mahjong RPG. Damn. And I've never actually played it before, so this is my first time seeing it. Okay. I guess we have to see the Mahjong King. Oh, Mahjong Queen, sorry. Here to get cussed out by the Mahjong Queen. Oh. Who was that? Whoa. Uh, you're about to get your ass kicked. Yeah. Is that like a Mahjong assassin? I think so. They had those back then. Yeah, let's go with that. Mahjong start. Alright, so y'all like Mahjong. I'm happy to say that this stream has converted to an all Mahjong format. We'll be Mahjong talking. Pals. We'll be talking about Jongs, uh, Maz. I did like that little screen. Going to talk about Doras and pawns and cheese and. Ooh, you've lost me. Guess who has no idea how to play this game? It's like Uno. Okay, that of all things actually helps. You just gotta make these little sets of uh, Mahjong tiles. Here, I'll give you a full tutorial. This will okay. only take a couple hours. Alright, alright. That's a good all thing right, we got the time. There's a bunch of different suits, you see. There's numbers, there's balls, there's bamboo. And you gotta put together a good hand instead of a bad hand. You with me so far? Yes. So all you gotta do is play this game for 30 to 40 years, and mm -hmm. then you should get good enough at it to win consistently. 
Are you willing to put in the effort? Or Danny? would you rather uh, waste your time on that pachinko you love so much? <laughs> Honey, you know me. I'm a thrill a man. I'd rather have pachinko. I just like, I just want to hand someone my money and then have them jostle and yell at me. It's the same thing. <laughs> this lady already declared reach against me, so I'm basically fucked. But this is a Mahjong game. If you've never played or seen one, this is what they look like. They all look pretty much just like this. For some reason, there are approximately 10 billion of these for so many systems over the years. And they all play exactly the same. Some of them got nudity, uh, including the original Neo Geo version. It had stripping in it. Yes, I actually read about that. This version does not, as far as I know. So it is an inferior port. It's the clean version for good Christian Mahjong fans. <laughs> Just had to buy a really expensive expansion to play it. Yes, I am. I am a Christian man who wants my mahjong to be cl clear and free. What if I called oh, Reach? Stripping. Oh, there we go. Sorry. That's no, okay. <laughs> I was talking shit on the computer. Let me just pull out my Bible passage. All right, I just need either a six of balls or a five or, of bamboo to win this match here. Uh, Danny knows how to play mahjong. Game oh, player. she just discarded a six. Shit. Well, maybe he doesn't know how to play. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to play. I'm the idiot here. I have no no clue. No clue. I could have won right then. Everyone on stream would have thought I was so cool, but truly, I am a fool. Yeah, there's a uh, Luke 1, 18, and the Lord so loved the world, he played pachinko for like 20 hours. <laughs> Lost all his money. I remember that passage. Apostles had to front him some more. I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, there's there's a Mahjong game for you because every system needs a Mahjong game. Uh, if you didn't want one, you'd have to wait a while for the next release. It's this game. Oh no, wait, I'm a liar. <laughs> if you didn't want a Mahjong game, you could go to the store the very same day, February 24th, 95, a banner day for the arcade card because two games came out. Mm. There was this and Kabuki Ito Ryoden. And hey, good news, it's another fighting game. Oh, sweet! Except this one is based on a certain popular franchise. Can you guess what it is? Let's see... It's based off of... Pac-Man? That's right, Pac-Man! It is a Pac-Man fighting game. We finally got what we wanted after all these years. Now it's Tengai Makyo, of course! The PC Engine's biggest RPG series, the Tengai Makyo series, aka Far East of Eden, occasionally. This is a fighting game based on that series. Thanks, Kabuki Man. One of several Tengai Makyo fighting games. There was actually a Neo Geo one called Kabuki Clash. Oh. It's not the same game as this one. Kabuki! Ito Ryodan! So you see Hudson and Red, and you think, oh my god, that is a dream team right there. They made Bonk's Adventure, Bonk's Revenge. Yeah. This is actually developed by a company called AI, who made Wrath of the Black Manta on NES, as well as uh, Crossfire on Genesis. Mm. And if you're familiar with either of those games, that will set off alarm bells. Mm. Yes, Red did work on Bonk. Mm-hmm. Red is good, typically. Red, Red did a lot of stuff. They did fucking Sakura Tyson. Hey, I love this already! Oh my god, no! These are good characters. These are good Please characters. Please go back to my friend. I want to see all of them first. Okay, so... No. Yes! Who is it? I Ma love them! Manto X. I love them! <laughs> They're gonna kiss. Now, I've never actually played this one either, so this will be a nice surprise for me. Though, given the developer made Wrath of the Black Manta, I don't have high hopes. Uh, yes, Red did also work on the Tempo games as well. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Uh, also, Electric Boogaloo mentions that AI also made Blazion, which I misread as Electric Boogaloo saying, I also made Blazion, and I was going to be, congratulations, Electric Boogaloo. 
Look at that buff wow! critter. This game looks like this game Look looks how well awesome. animated he is. Damn. I gotta say. Okay, I didn't have high hopes, but this plays better than I thought it this would. This looks pretty good. It's nice and fast. I like the animation. I like the fact that we're doing a stage play and people are watching us. Mm -hmm. That's neat. Uh, you can be this bizarre monkey man. Maybe some kind of demon? Probably. Monkey demons, big fan. I love him. He's got big shoulders, though. How do you do special moves? Yeah. I bet it has a weird command system like fucking Primal Rage or some shit. Still, he's got some nice range. I like him. It's like part... Like, yeah, 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 Magma Ram. Part werewolf, part monkey. Big yeah, fan. Yeah, yeah. Like Goku. God, you're right! Oh, that's gonna fuck with me for a while, Danny. <laughs> yeah, way better than I was expecting. This is nice and playable, even though I can't figure out any of the moves, but... Something to be said for fluidity and accessibility, and this game's got it. Yes! Okay, Blab says, according to HG 101, one of the series' most beloved characters, Manto, is an immortal ape who kind of who looks kind of fearsome, but is actually relentlessly boneheaded. Wow! <laughs> cool. So I can finally have some representation someone, of me. Someone start translating them Tengai Makyo games. They're supposed to be really good. I love and them. And yet none of them are in English. Manto is so good. Manto is the best boy. Please make all your personas Manto now. Oh, the SNES uh, one is translated. Oh, really? Good. Someday I'd like to see the original uh, PC Engine ones translated. Just because those got so much press and were so hugely popular. I want to see what the big deal is. Yeah, it's just one of those series that never made it outside of Japan, but within Japan it was just hugely influential. This is okay. I, I like, like this. this. It's got, it's got a decent amount of animation. It, uh, I'd say it's it justifies the arcade card's usage. This looks like an arcade card guard game, and an arcade card guard. The sneeze guard for your arcade games. Okay. Oh, I gotta see what this guy's deal is. Yeah, it's got to move on. Citricola says, the guy who translated the Super Nintendo one is doing the Turbo ones. Excellent. Yes. When that gets translated, you will see it on this stream. Because I want to know. What have we been missing out on? Uh, apparently, uh, Clyde Mandolin did uh, stream the Apocalypse 4, and uh, that's on YouTube if y'all are interested in looking at that. Oh, gotcha. cool. That's cool. The uh, Legends of Localization Ooh. guy. Yeah, look he at would Manta. know his stuff. Sorry, I just keep saying look at Manto, but... He walks on his hands! He's good and boneheaded. <laughs> I like that. This grab onto their face and then just punching move seems to work pretty well. Oh, suplex. Apparently you can back dash, but not forward dash. I gotta learn more about this game, but... Suffice to say, pretty pretty nice surprise. I was not expecting much. And this game is alright. Alright, Blab lets me know lets us know that uh they here's the world map of Apocalypse 4, and guess who runs Lake Tahoe? That's right, Manto. <laughs> Good for you, Manto. Oh my god, Houston's also still in the in the post-apocalyptic future. Alright, alright. Okay, so at this point in the arcade card's history is wh when you may start worrying. Because that game came out February 24th, 1980, 1995. The next game wouldn't come out until November 24th, 1995. Oof. And that was a game called Sapphire. So that's what? Freaking, freaking nine months between release. In that amount of time, you would have figured this thing's dead. They're not making any more games for it. But mm -hmm. the wait would have been worth it. Because this is considered to be the best arcade card game. I think this is also the most expensive PC Engine game. A uh, disc-only copy recently sold for $1,200. Cool! Uh, hey, 
I love you so much. I know I said through thick, through, through in our marriage trials, we will be together through thick and through thin, through everything. But um, if you buy that game, I will kick your ass. <laughs> I would support that ass kicking. Yeah, it turns out there's also a bunch of bootlegs and reproductions, so good luck selling an original if you do have one. But this freaking game, there is a lot to say about this. Uh, Alex, why don't you play this one? Okay, cool. Easy, hell yeah. So if you saw during our intermission, Alex showcased an anime OVA called Galaxy Fräulein Yuna. How's that pronounced? Fräulein? It's a German word. Anyway, it got its uh, origins here on the PC Engine as... I gotta look up this name. It originated on PC Engine as Ginga Ojo-sama Densetsu Yuna. And that, like uh, the Tengai Makyo series, was hugely popular. It was this visual novel that spun off a bunch of sequels, uh, OVAs, as you saw. I like her. She seems bored. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go with oh. the you gotta go with the bored anime babes. Mm -hmm. And eventually, they launched this spinoff called uh, Ginga Fuke Densets Sapphire is the full title. So whereas the original title is like Galaxy Maiden Yuna, this title is like Galaxy Policewoman Sapphire. <laughs> And you control a policewoman in a spacecraft, and you gotta shoot shit. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at this damn game. Now, as opposed to the other games we've seen so far, this game is by CA Production, who handled Hagane on Super Famicom, as well as... Uh, what's that game? Bulk Slash on the Sega Saturn. And if you're familiar with those games, you'll know that that is top tier Hudson right there. That is their, that is their ultimate studio who's capable making of, of making great games. All right, there's a lot of 60 frames per second flip, flicker effects in this game that aren't showing up on screen, but there's a lot of cool like holographic effects that are projecting over yeah, these I buildings. Yeah, like I like the holograms. And they're all like morphing and shit. It's it looks super cool. Yeah, a pineapple turned into a lady. There's all kinds of bizarre shit going on. Other facts I wrote down, uh, the original series stars Yuna, who has the superpower of being able to befriend anyone, as the, uh, as the wiki emphasized. Anyone. At any time. This was later collected on PSP alongside the original Yuna game, so it was all like... Most of the collection is just visual novels, and then uh, all of a sudden, oh, there's a really expensive and good shooter on here, too. Hey, this is a good shooter. Yeah, isn't it? I really like this game. Yeah, Hagane is hard as balls, but it's good, but it's also really hard. There in the background, you saw like this raster effect on the building, as well as like the famous jointed balls effect that's so common in the 16 bit era. I love the pure fucking magic effect. Mm hmm. Gotta have balls. Mm -hmm. And as far as collectors or really anyone is concerned, this is the only reason to own an arcade card, because this game is exclusive, you can't play it anywhere else, except the PSP, and that version is also pretty expensive. And it's just quality stuff. If I had a TurboTap, we could play two-player. <laughs> And there's four characters to choose from, so it's got a decent amount of variety and depth. I'm gonna play another thing. Yeah. In this baby now. Yeah, it's got multiple playable babes. This music. Hey, I'm doing pretty good. It's dangerous for you to come. I like all the mini bosses you have to fight too, in addition to the, the big ass bosses at the end of the level. Look at those pre rendered graphics! The wave of the future. They also have a bomb. Oh. Wow, didn't like that. Mm -mm. 
Have I ever mentioned that I am just amazing at shooters? <laughs> Literally the worst thing I'm... I just, I just wanted you to play a good game after making you play all those bad games. Oh, you're so sweet. That and I've played this before. Okay. Sorry to all the, sh the shooter fans, the shmup fans, the shoot them up fans, the... Uh... Shoot them up. <laughs> That's how Richard Nixon says, shoot them up. <laughs> shoot them up? What are these shmups? <laughs> Watergate case. Oh, thing. cool. <laughs> Big pixely graphics. Oh, man. Do you want to play the next one? Sure. Yeah. Danny should play yeah, I've said I'm, I'm out of facts. All right, play this. My crucial facts, including Yuna can befriend anyone. <laughs> it's the only thing I know about Yuna. This is a good game. So it's not just a shooter. It's a time-traveling shooter. We're going back to the 12th century here to mm. kick some ass. You don't think they'll find it suspicious to see, like... Us flying above them. Like, they won't write into our, like, monk manuals, like, Forsooth, Un, it's a dragon, or whatever. We have witnessed the coming of the legendary anime babes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining in the Renaissance, like, all these anime babes descending upon, uh... Descending upon uh, Renaissance era Italy, oh, Venice. Dragon. And, oh, cool dragon! They had these back in the 12th century. Yeah. I guess 12th century was the Dark Ages, so I guess they wouldn't have Leonardo uh, da Vinci. DiCaprio. Leonardo the anime babe. So you also got this charge up attack if you stop firing, and that just wrecks enemies. And if you destroy multiple in a row using that, you get these score bonuses for combos. Or you can just smack right into the enemies and die. That's also a good strategy. I'm sorry, this is killing me. Zodaku says, Nixon's enemies list had their point value listed next to each entry. <laughs> That's all I can think of. You know who was on Nixon's enemies list that blew my mind when I found out? June Foray was on his enemies list. and Who is that? The voice of uh, a very famous voice actress did uh, Rocky from Rocky and Bullwinkle. Oh, Rocky? <laughs> yeah, she did a lot of voices. She was... That's pretty funny. Meat prices were I'm really... gonna take down that Rocky. She literally did a single protest about how meat prices should be subsidized or some fucking thing about some some very consume some very minor consumer protest that she lent her uh, support to and Nixon threw a fit and had her monitored for years. <laughs> June fucking foray, one of the more like Rock Rocky the Flying Squirrel. Rocky the Flying Squirrel's going down, says Nixon. Hold on, I okay. I gotta find the link to that. That's, that's actually yeah. One source, of my please. Stories. Nixon. Yeah, you can tell just by looking at this game so far. It is designed as a graphical showcase for the uh, the arcade card, not just using tons of pre-rendered graphics, but doing uh, parallax, raster effects, morphing, as seen in the feature film Terminator Two. <laughs> just really everything you can throw at a video game. They threw it in here. Look at that effect. I like this uh, deep research. Is. Found it. Yeah, cartoonresearch.com uh, mentions it in their entry. In the, in, uh, her, uh, it's mentioned in her uh, obituary on cartoon research. Oh, let me throw that on here. <laughs> hated by Nixon. Hated by Nixon. To be fair, being hated by Nixon kicks ass. Yeah. That, that is something sucks. I would want in my obi uh, my obituary. Hell, just put that anyway, even if it's not true. Honestly, is Nixon alive when I was alive? It's a giant freaking polygon face. <laughs> Sorry for going macaw there, but <laughs> this game inspires that. Whipping its laser hair around. And now it's a skull! Oh, that's fucked. See, this, when I think of pushing the PC Engine to its limits, this is what I think of. There weren't nearly enough games like this, but there were quite a few. PC Engine had some good ass games if you know where to dig. 
Unfortunately, not many of them were on arcade card. But this one, this one makes up for it. Oh, actually, the Wikipedia article mentions how she's on Nixon's enemies list. Okay, cool. All right, so that's Sapphire, a that new cool. a new high water mark, a new bar for the arcade card. Now, at this point in the thing's history, you would think, oh man, it is all uphill from here. These games have got to kick ass from now on, right? Unfortunately, it turns out this is the second to last arcade card game, and the very last game wouldn't arrive until more than one year later. Ooh. So Sapphire came out November 24th, 1995. The next game came out December 13th, 1996. 96! Oh, God. The PS, The PS1 and N64 were out. Why would anyone want to play games for this thing? And what they released was a game called Mado Monogatari 1. That's spelled M-A-D-O-U. Yeah, you know how to spell Monogatari. You're a nerd. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> I think I married you. It's true. <laughs> ice, ice burn, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. It's a pretty famous series. Uh, it was the predecessor to a series that more people will be familiar with. This is the RPG series that came before Compile's Puyo Puyo. This is where all the characters came from. Oh, cool. And as a send-off to the system, it's maybe not great, but we're going to play it anyway. Oh, but it's, comp well, it's licensed by Compile. Yeah. This is a platform-exclusive upgrade of the original Mado Monogatari. Uh, over the years, that, that original game has been re-released, reissued, re-fucked with every single time. The thing is, the original uh, games in the series were out on the PC-98 computer system, and they were this weird merger of uh, cuteness, like cute characters, and extreme blood and gore. <laughs> so the later cool. re-releases uh, up the cuteness while cutting back on the gore. Uh, most notably, this came to the Sega Game Gear, at which point they'd be like, okay, you gotta cut the gore out. Kids are gonna play this. Oh no, this has gore? Mm-hmm. But look at it! Yeah, yeah. No! No, so, no. So you control Arla, or Arudu, as she's named here. She is a wizard kindergartner who has to climb the Tower of Terror in order to uh, pass her class. Oh, I love that ride. Just to get out of kindergarten. Mm. This port here was developed by Goo... That is spelled G O O exclamation mark. And they later ported Puli Rula to the Sega Saturn. It all comes back to Puli Rula. Uh, Freon Leon says this isn't platform exclusive, it's also on the Mega Drive. Oh, this version? Okay. Okay. So, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I think Mato Monogatari on Mega Drive is one of the system's last games, come to think of it. And here on PC Engine, it's actually the third to last PC Engine game entirely out of all the different system cards. Uh, the second to last arrived in 1997, and the very last, which was a game called Dead of the Brain, arrived in 1999! The system Ooh. lasted until 1999! Hell of a staying power. It's like, when did it come out? 87? And it went on until 99. There's Fishman. And whoop on whoop, this was on the Game Gear, but it was censored. Yeah. Well, it was more kid-appropriate. Yeah, it was less... Let's just say it was made more consistent. <laughs> less edgy for the sake of uh, nerdy PC guys in the 80s. Oh, God. Hey, you know those PC-98 games had to have that shit. I'm pretty excited for it. This looks pretty cool. It does look cool. It has a nice, clean art style to it. I was reading up on the series, and it sounds pretty fucked. Like, the original... This is the first game as part of a, a trilogy of games. Unfortunately, it doesn't include parts two and three. But by part three, like, the story is... Arla's all grown up, and from using ice magic so much, she has this horrible frostbite, and she can't fight anymore. So she has to summon a minotaur to do all the work in the game. Oh, Jesus! So you play as a minotaur. <laughs> Supposedly, they completely changed the story for the Game Gear one. Everyone's asking about Carby. Yep, Carby. Good old Carbuncle, her uh, her friend. Carby may not be in this one, so... Yeah, I don't think he started off in this one. 
Uh, Mr. Jensi mentions the first game is actually part two. This is a prequel. Oh my god. <laughs> this what is, is so complicated series? and I, I can't deal. I can't wrap my head around it. Alright, let's do it. Let's just play the damn game. The last arcade card game. Yep, that is the monster filled tower where all the kindergartners have to go to pass kindergarten. Oh man, I love charter schools. I heard the education system in Japan is rough, but this is ridiculous. Your bow tie spinning, Danny. <laughs> yeah, you can totally climb the tower. Let's go. Yeah, we, we got it. There he is. There's Aww. your buddy. Shaking his ass at you. I see you, Carby. Shaking that ass. <laughs> Shaking that ass. Oh, oh God, yeah. Carby! Carby, calm down, buddy. Take it down a couple notches. All right, and it's a first-person dungeon crawler. Good night, everybody. <laughs> 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 yeah, if you're not familiar with Japanese, you're not going to get very far in this game, unfortunately. It is a very text-intensive uh, dungeon crawler. To its credit, I think this has an auto map at least, so that's an improvement over earlier ports. It doesn't get rid of Arla's constant face in the upper right. Her face takes up like 25% of the game screen the entire time you're playing. And I don't really know what purpose that serves. Aw, kitty. Well, this guy's cool. Uh, let's buy stuff. I want some nice veggies. Nice. That's good for you, you know. Mm -hmm. Leafy greens. Yeah, let's get out of here. There he goes. All right, so so tell me if I'm off base here. Is it kind of weird that they made an RPG for something called the arcade card? A little bit. Oh, oh no. no, it's a Puyo. Is this gonna is this the part that's gonna be gor gory? Uh, if this were the original version, yeah, but I think they toned it down by this point. Ah oh, damn. That and I don't know how gory a goo ball can get. I don't know. They could give it like a skeleton or something. Let's use that ice magic. Frozen. Now let's set him on fire. Yeah. Well, not they're not. Oh, are they just leaving? They turned their back on me. Have some lightning. Yeah. Don't you turn your back on me. Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. It looks so sad that you're kicking their ass. <laughs> this is one kindergartner they shouldn't have fucked with. Damn. She's a real kindergarten cop. <laughs> that was terrible. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's near the end of the stream. We'll take what we can get. Alright, yeah. I'll, I'll cut that out during the, uh, during the highlight. Whoa, skeleton. Cool. Let's investigate the skeleton. Saying gibberish. Nice. <laughs> Same. Do it. That's me every day. Skeleton's pretty damn good. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it's good old skeleton tea from the Puyo Puyo games. Is he selling me tea? Mm-hmm. He's, he's talking about ocha, which is tea. That's gonna say that's, that's green tea, yeah? Yeah. Mm. He's upset I don't want his tea. No! Oh, 
Izzy says me and the skeleton are gonna go get energy drinks at the gas station. Yeah, get me one of those monster zero calories. Oh yeah, those are good. The ones in the white cans, they're all like a meme now. I'll take Rockstar, thank you, the underground energy drink. I'll take whatever's for sale for 50 cents at the Big Lots. Oh man. You never know what you're gonna get. You get in trouble with that shit. Mm -hmm. You see something at Big Lots that sounds tasty like Jolly Rancher soda? Don't, oh, you, don't fall for it. Don't you, fall for it. You did that. You got that Jolly Rancher soda. Mm hmm. Oh, it was so bad. Sorry. It was like Big Red, but. Are you two fighting? I think so. Did I, did I lose? I think I lost. Uh, in the original PC-98 version of this game, Arla meets uh, Skezo and completely decapitates him. <laughs> cool. Arla's a badass. Well, I think I died and got sent back to the beginning of the dungeon, so that's a good point to stop, I think. Yeah, if you want one of the best versions of the original Mado Monogatari, which is actually a prequel to the first game, keep that in mind, mm -hmm. then play this one. Uh, later games, they age her up to be a teenager, and then it's more like what you'd expect from Puyo Puyo. Cool. Yeah, eventually Puyo Puyo became more popular worldwide, but I believe this series is still really popular in Japan, considering how often it's ported. One of Compile's uh, better-known series. Aside from that one puzzler, you know. I've never heard of Puzzler? Some, puzzler? Something about Puyos? Oh, sounds weird. Puyo Pop? Puyo... What does that even mean? <laughs> Is that like that one one puzzle game with uh, Dr. Robotnik? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him and his Mean Beans. Ah, yeah. I think oh. it's a ripoff of Mean Bean Machine. Mm, I hate when they do that. <laughs> anyway, you've seen it. You've seen all 12 games for the PC Engine arcade card. What do y'all think? I, I know, I know what you're gonna say. That's just a bunch of bullshit, plus Sapphire. But Sapphire! Sapphire! Sapphire is why people bought this thing to begin with, and honestly, I can see why. That was a pretty darn good game, and very visually impressive for the PC Engine. On the other hand, if you were hoping for a 32X style upgrade that would upgrade its uh, processing capabilities, that wasn't gonna happen with the arcade card. The best yeah. you could hope for was more RAM. And at least you got a couple of good Neo Geo ports out of it. Then again, nowadays, it's easier to just emulate the original Neo Geo versions, so kind of pointless to do that. Unless you're a huge nerd who runs a retro gaming stream. Hi. <laughs>